Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Skyrim the Dragonborn DLC and the Unearthed Quest Part 4. And we're waiting for the courier. I think we can guess what it is. Okay. The courier will not be bringing any more uh, letters. I think that tells you all you need to know. So let's take a little look. You're needed. That's um, to the point. Okay, so let's travel over to Colbjorn. Okay. Okay, I'll leave Jenniser and Cedric here. Uh, now, if you go to his tent, there's some several journals, which actually worth, uh, you can see the quest marker there, uh, which are definitely worth uh, reading. It shows you how he's deteriorated uh, since he's been at the Barrow. Um, I'm not going to bother that. I'm just going to go and get him. Okay, and we go. Wee bonk. And this is where we pick up a lot of goodies on, on this one. And uh, let's see, I've been getting a lot of clipping problems with my bow yet again. And sometimes it's working fine and then sometimes it doesn't. Okay, let's crack on. There's always a drogger down here to the right. Okay. Right, my bow wasn't working, so I've uh, cut out a lot of that stuff, uh, where I will do in editing. Um, I think I'll send the uh, boys in there. Just for now. Let them deal with him. Yeah, every now and again, my bow, my bow just will not work. So anyway, he's done with. Now he can access the uh, Whirlball. And here we go. The Cyclone Shout. Unleash Cyclone. It's kind of a fun little shout. Not as good as Unrelenting Force in my opinion, but um, you know, it's uh, still a fun thing to do. Okay, and for some reason it keeps on um, equipping my uh, lightning arrows. I, I don't know why. So anyway, let's unlock that. And, uh... Oh, disarm. Okay. Unlock that one. Unlock this one. Yep. And 20. Let's have a little look through so any others I haven't unlocked. Oh, dragon, oh, dragon aspects. I've completely forgot about that. I'll have to uh, give it a go. And World War Sprint. I thought I'd already unlocked that one. Oh, there you go. Just shows it's worth checking every now and again. Yeah, there's a few more shouts uh, or words that I want to pick up in, uh, in Solstheim. And uh, then I will go back to doing, uh, uh, fighting all the, uh, the World Wars in Skyrim. Or most of them, anyway. Some of them lock behind quests. Okay, so let's go crack on. Oh, good night. There's quite a few dropping in this barrow. Okay. No. Actually, we'll try the shout. There you go. <laughs> I think you need all three to uh, to make it worthwhile. And I don't think I held the uh, the button down long enough to get the full force. Okay, 
so okay so what we're going to do is go down here so I'll show you in reference there's where we got the uh, the ring there's the stairs and you want to go down here through here and there's where the rock fall was and you've got to deal with these guys oh, look at that look at that that's madness, isn't it? Let's send the boys in to deal with them. I think what it is is because as they've been releasing this barrow, uh, sorry, the uh, the path through this uh, barrow, as we've been unveiling each or each segment, there's still uh, oh, what's the word in it? Um, there's still barriers in the way, so that's causing me problems. They obviously didn't finish this. Anyway, the puzzle here, let's uh, get this done. Turn them both to whales. Okay, that one's already on whale. Okay. Activate the lever, and that opens that door. And if you look up there, there's two hawks, and that'll release the gateway so we can go down further. And you can't see it, but take it. For some reason, this really is buggy, this, uh, this one and you've got the arm retribution enemies who strike you with a melee attack have a small chance of being paralyzed that's a pretty cool enchantment actually that's pretty cool yeah I mean obviously I'm nice armor so I won't be using it but uh... anyway so go back up here as I mentioned before it's the two hawks as you can see up the top there just above uh, Ben and pull the lever. And now we can go down. Okay, there's a few sleeping drogger in here. And there's one just in there. Let's see if we can wipe him out. Yeah, that's him done. And set fire to this, just in case there's any wandering around. I think they're sleeping, or waiting. Occasionally they, uh, they're walking around, so that'll get some of them. Okay, so we want to go in there, but we'd better finish off these little drogger first. There's one. Good night. Quiet again. Quiet again. There's the other one. And... No. And I think he's the one we got before. Let's just double check. Oops. Yep, he's the one we got before. And there's some Stolrim, uh, which I suggest you mine. Don't forget you need the Ancient Lorded Pickaxe. And turn these both to Snake. Now, this is trapped, so don't do what I do. I've got fire resistance on my boots, so, uh... Okay, take Azadol's helmet on vision. And I can back out and just around the corner there, and I'm fine. Okay, but beware of that, guys. Um, I've got high health and I've got fire resistant boots. Okay, let's have a little look. Oh, yeah. Your Conjuration Rune Spells cost 25% more, but can be cast at a greater range. Eh, that could be good. That could be handy, actually. Yeah, that definitely could be handy. Okay, so we're coming up against the Dragon Priest now. And uh, now this guy has got a wicked uh, fire spells. Um, so be really, really careful uh, when you're fighting him. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Storm Atronax because um, I don't think he's uh, got much resistance to shock and they can hit him from distance. Uh, I don't think my Dramora Lords will be too effective against him. So, pop out Stormies. And double cast that one. Makes him more powerful. Okay, get ready. 
And if you can get a sneak attack on him, do it. And whatever you do, don't let him um, try and panic, peg him back into a corner. He will run you around the whole barrow if you let him. So I'm going to basically one shot him. <laughs> and all his drug will die. A uh, lot of stuff you can loot here as well. There you go. Now we're going to have to have a word with Rallis. But before we do that, we'll grab his uh, well, gold, nom nom 250, and increase his fire resistance by 50% and fire spell damage by 25%. That's actually not bad. I never use Dragon Mask personally, but uh, for those of you who do, that is quite a good one. What? So, what's going on here? I don't remember. Ever since I got here to, to Colby, I've heard whispers, voices, thoughts, imaginings. They've only gotten louder since I've stayed, pounding, driving. A couple of times I blacked out. It was, it was just before the Draugr woke up. Did you kill the miners? Maybe. It's what... It's what he wanted. He just needed their energy. I don't know. I hope I didn't. But maybe I... Please. You have to believe me. Now you've got a choice. You can let him go or you can basically kill him. If you let him go, he can be used as a follower. Um, I'm not going to let him do what? that because he killed no, a load of miners. So, I'm just going to... Yeah, because he's still mad, so just kill him. And good night. Yeah, I wasn't going to let him get away with that. So, search him. What you do get... Well, actually, nom nom, 105 gold. And you get Hoarfrost, which is an enchanted pickaxe. Uh, I'm not sure if you can disenchant this or not. Target takes 15 points frost damage to health and stamina and have a small chance of being frozen solid, which is actually not a bad enchantment if it can be disenchanted. Okay. Right, so you can run around here looting if you want to. Uh, when you've finished, come through here. Some couple of soul gems. Nom 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 nom. There's a boss chest with random loot in it. Still have my destruction, nom nom. I'll take that, 250. Uh, spell to home, elemental blast, which is a damn good one. And come up here. That's another one of the things that I wanted to get. But there's another boss uh, chest here as well. Uh, yeah, take that. Yeah, take that. That'll do. And the black book, filaments and filigree. And that pops us into... Apocrypha. Now I'll be doing a separate video on, on the walkthrough through here. Okay, so you can carry on, obviously, uh, and do it. But if you want to come out and do it later, just read your book. And that brings you straight back out. And bear in mind, you've got to be in Solstheim when you read the book. Okay, so that brings you down here. And all you do to get out... I think there's anything else left to loot. Yeah, so you just go up here. Round the corner. Activate the lever. And that brings you up a nice little circular staircase. And brings you out near the, uh, the entrance, or fairly near the entrance, anyway. And oh, we'll, that's our little buddies come to help us. They didn't come too far into the uh, barrow, did they? <laughs> Bless them. Anyway, so, 
that's pretty much it. It was a long one. I've had to dive it, divide it up into lots of parts. I think it's really worth doing, especially for some of those enchantments. And uh, I lo do like the cycle and shout. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I, I really hope you found it useful. I know it was a long one, but nothing I could do about that. Um, anyway, guys, see you next time. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.